you know, one of the things that I think a lot of people might struggle with is they might struggle to see how their vocation, their calling in life um, just might seem too insignificant for them to make any sort of actual difference uh, in their community. Um, what kind of practical steps would you advise someone who is kind of stuck in that? You know, they're just saying, thinking my job or my calling is just too insignificant. I can't, I'm not going to do anything big from you know my job. Uh, what would what kind of practical advice would you give to them who to see how God might be using their vocation for good in their community and even rippling beyond that? Yeah, I think there's a couple of things, and I think it starts with theology and and how we teach. Um, there's two there's two immediate components that I think we need to wrestle with. One is um, there has to be a, a, a better view of what work is in the Christian space. Mm-hmm. It's not just busy activity. It is mm-hmm. actually the contribution of cultivating a world that it looks and reflects our creator. Mm-hmm. And so the act, many of theologians have said this, and I'll say it, the, the, the act of work is worship in itself. It's a it was a task given before there was ever sin. So activity is a part of who humanity is. It's like the fact that we work is a part of who we are. It's the reflection of God's, you know, the first chapter of Genesis is God is working. His identity is I create, like I am a, I am a creator. And so therefore I make things and those things reflect the goodness of who I am. And as God creates us, we are a reflection of that. We are creators and the creator is the, the creation that we make is supposed to be a reflection of what we believe and who we are. And hopefully that thing is good as God said after each thing he created, he says it is good. Mm-hmm. And so as we work, as no matter what we do, I think we should approach it as, man, I am, I am kind of like recapitulating this act, this attribute of God. And hopefully as I do this, this is good. Like, this mm-hmm. is something that people will look at and say, that's good. The other component that we need to do is get over this idea of like everything we do has to be world changing. Mm. And I think that's the, that's the, the pressure, not only in the, the way the world talks about the, and I mean the grand society, the you know, quote unquote secular society, but even the Christian world, we were often talking about impact. We're talking about, we use grandioso words and the reality of it is, is some of our work is just a simple contribution that is not grandioso in the sense that it's going to change the world. But guess what? It is changing one or two people's lives hmm. and you're creating some sort of contribution to that person's life that is going to affect them in a way that's going to propel them to some sort of flourishing. Hmm. And the problem is, is we're always like Instagram and we're looking for <laughs> what's great. Like, we're like, well, how can I, how can I curate my life in a way that makes it look like I am just doing the most great thing. And we all want platforms. Mm-hmm. And the reality is, is we all can't be Einstein. <laughs> we all can't be, you know, the MLKs and Frederick Douglasses. Like some of us are just people who hold up the arms of Moses. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, some of us are Aaron's and some of us are hers. And the problem is, is we, we, we all want to be Moses. And, uh, but guess what? Like holding up the arm of a Moses so that we win the war is a huge contribution to the community of God or, and to society at large. And so I think one, a better theology of what work is and why your work is important no matter what you do, because it's worship and that's it. The fact that you work is an act of the Lord. And I don't even mean like work in a sense like you have to clock in. I'm talking about activity Mm -hmm. in general, cultivation from, and I say this in a book, anything from engineers to uh, child rearing, like you are contributing to an activity. That's why when people don't work, solitary confinement in prisons is supposed to be one of the most heinous Mm -hmm. things. Like there's nothing to do. You're not contributing. You're not working. You're not doing anything. Uh, And then the second thing, like I said, is reevaluating um, the grandioso-ness, the, the grandeur-ness, the, I don't even know if I'm using that right word, word right, but <laughs> the, the, this idea of being extremely significant in all we do. Um, so, yeah.